kind of like a look that I've been really liking right now and it's not technically a fall look even though we're still in the fall kind of theme kind of thing right now but it's just kind of like a darker kind of neutral look I don't always wear my fall look to school because it doesn't always match my outfits but yeah just I'm just gonna be doing this look today it's actually the look that I am wearing right now I know that you can't really see it right really good right now but you probably would have seen it in the intro anyways I am talking very very long and yeah let's just hop right into this look so then you can see how to get how to get this look originally gonna do this as a talk through but I guess I'll do it as a voiceover because I totally forgot but anyways First, I'm going to be priming my face with my Maybelline Master Prime Primer, and it's basically just a base, and I'm just going to put that all over my skin and then just blend that all in. And just for a disclaimer, in some of the video, you won't really see my eyes that much or my face. It's because I put the camera too high, so you couldn't really see what I did, but then after, like, later on until, like, the ending of the video, I move it, so... Just saying that as a disclaimer right away because I know that some of you guys will be like, oh my gosh, where's her face, blah, blah, blah. But yeah. So on to the next step. I'm going to be taking my Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation and I'm just going to be dabbing that all around my skin and then just blending that in with my Miracle Complexion Sponge. Also, I know I'm talking a lot, but actually I do my eyes before I do my foundation. So I accidentally mixed it up, but you know what? That's okay, but I just wanted to tell you guys that I actually just do, like, my eyes before my foundation because I do put tape on my eyes, so, yeah, it's just, yeah. <laughs> and now onto the eyes, I'm just going to be priming my eyelids with my Urban Decay Primer Potion, and it is the anti-aging one. Now he's so tall. And like I said in the beginning, this is one of the parts where you can't really see my face, so I'm really, really sorry, but I'm just putting tape on, like, the corners of my eyes. New eyeshadow, I'm going to be going into my Naked 2 palette and taking this color called Verve, and it's a really shimmery, um, silvery color, and I love it. It's one of the mo my most used colors in my Naked 2 palette. I'm just going to be putting that on my whole eye, and then I use that with my Naked 2 brush, and then I'm also going to be taking, um... A flat topped brush and I'm gonna be taking the color called tease and it's a matte brown color and I'm just gonna be putting that into my crease and this is gonna be just this is just kind of this is gonna kind of be like a transition color so yeah just gonna be doing that with a flat top brush like I said now I'm gonna be going in with an angled brush and taking this color called Busted. And it's kind of like a shimmery dark brown color and I'm just gonna be putting that on to the outer corner of my eye crease thingy much here. <laughs> now I'm gonna be blending everything and I'm just gonna be taking my blending brush and making sure that everything is very well blended because you don't want it to be like matte brown and then like dark brown. So just make sure to blend everything very, very well. Sometimes when I do my makeup, I just leave it at that. But if you want to make it even more dramatic, you can add black. So I just took a black out from the Naked 2 palette and took a pencil brush and just put that at the very end of my outer corner. And then I blended that with a blending brush again. And you have to blend this so good, you guys. Like, it takes a long time to blend. So just make sure that it's blended, that it's blended out very, very, very well. Now moving on to eyeliner, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Master Precise Eyeliner and drawing a thin line on my, what's it called, my lid, and then drawing a wing. And sorry that you guys couldn't really see me draw my wing, it's because I obviously wasn't in frame, and like always, I don't know what is wrong, but I wasn't. So yeah, sorry that you guys couldn't see that. But then anyways, after my eyeliner, I'm going to be taking off my tape. And when you take off your tape, you realize that you have a precise line in what you really want, which looks good, you know? And now, what am I doing? Oh yeah, I'm putting on my concealer. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Coverstick Concealer in Ivory. And I'm just going to be putting that on the high points of my face, like the T-zone. So I'm going to be doing that and then blending it all in with my Black Beauty Blender. And now here is the good part because I'm actually in frame, which is the most wonderful thing that you guys have probably ever seen. Just kidding, but I'm just happy that I'm in frame now. With 
which is wonderful because I didn't want to be in, out of frame in the whole video, but I kind of am, but whatever. I'm going to be taking my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in 011 Creamy Natural, and I'm just going to be putting that, setting that, setting my under eye concealer with my pink beauty blender, and then buffing that all over my face with a powder brush. And yeah, I'm just going to be doing that. After powdering my face, I'm going to be contouring my face with my CoverGirl bronzer in golden tan, I'm pretty sure, and I'm going to be taking a pointed brush and then kind of mapping or like putting it where I kind of want to contour my face, but then to blend it all in, I'm going to be taking more of that product on an angled brush and then just blending that all in and blending it upwards. You don't want to blend your contour downwards because otherwise it looks like your whole like lower part of your cheekbone is brown because if you blend it upwards you can put like blush over it and everything so yeah that's why you want to blend your contour upwards so I'm just gonna be doing that and yeah now I'm gonna be taking that exact same bronzer from covergirl except I'm gonna be bronzing up my face now and I'm gonna be taking my real techniques contour brush and I'm going to be taking some of that bronze and putting it onto my temples and my hairline and really blending that out so then it doesn't look like I just have weird orange stuff around my face. So yeah, I'm going to be doing that. For blush, I'm going to be going into my Clarion palette. And I know this isn't a really well-known palette, but that's the only thing that I really have blush in. And I'm going to be taking my Real Techniques blush brush and then just putting that on to the apples of my cheeks. <laughs> And now I'm going to highlight, and you guys, highlighting is the best thing ever. I love highlighting so, 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 so much. But, yeah, I'm going to be going into my Naked 2 palette and taking this color called Booty Call. I know that it's an eyeshadow, but I don't really have a specific, like, thing of highlight. And this is the best, like, thing to highlight with ever. And I'm just going to be taking a flat top foundation brush and just putting that onto the high point of my cheekbone and then also taking some of that and putting it onto my cupid's bow and it looks so beautiful like oh my gosh i love highlighting so much it makes such a big difference and i love it so i would really recommend for you guys to do that after i'm done highlighting i'm gonna be um finishing up my eyes so i'm gonna be going back into the naked two palette and taking that color called busted that we use in the outer corner of our eyes and i'm gonna be taking the naked two palette brush taking the flat side and putting that right on onto my lower lash line just to smoke it out a bit and yeah and my mom did come into my room because she was giving me my lunch so yeah i know that's kind of weird but yeah <laughs> And for a little highlight on the inner corner, slash in the inner corner, I don't know why I said on, I'm going to be going into the Clarion palette and taking that white shimmery color and just put, dabbing my fingers in it and putting that on to the inner corners of my eyeballs and the brow bone of my brow. And now actually moving on to brows, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Brow Drama and I think it's dark or medium I don't know but I'm just gonna be filling in my eyebrows with that and I love this stuff so much you guys like this is the best new thing for eyebrows I love it actually my favorite thing is the Anastasia Beverly Hills like pencil thing the jigger but anyways I love this so far and it makes your eyebrows stay in place all day and I really 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 love it so I really recommend it for you guys and then for mascara, I'm going to be taking, obviously, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline The Colossal Mascara because, duh, that's one of my favorite mascaras. But, you guys, I have a new mascara that I've been loving. It's the Urban Decay Persuasion Mascara, something with a P, but I love that mascara so much. It totally makes a difference when I put it on my lower lashes because when I put it on my lower lashes, it makes them look so long, and I love it. It gets every single eyelash and the roots of it and the ends of it. I love it so much. So yes, I would recommend this and I've talked to you forever. I should probably stop. <laughs> and to complete the whole look, I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Baby Lips Lipstick in Pink Punch. And I'm going to be putting that onto my lips and it just gives a little bit of pink and I really, really like it. It's very, very cute. <laughs> like this video if you did and 
you really want to be nice and totally just give your thumb away, you can still have it, but just press a button and basically electronically give your thumb to me. You know what? That would be awesome. Give this video a thumbs up because why not? You know, like I said, you can you know, electronically give your thumb to me, which would be awesome. Anyways, if you did like this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, subscribe to this channel. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Lisi Marie. Marie is my middle name, if you were wondering, you know. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, if you're new here, hi, I do beauty and lifestyle videos. And yeah, um, if you're not new here, thanks for coming back to watch this video. That is really nice of you. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Love you always.